Hey everybody! Today we are going to learn how to draw a football. Did you know that you only need two basic lines and shapes to make a football? An arc and a line. This is the football that we're going to make. Can you believe that? We only need two basic lines and shapes to make this. Let's see how it all fits together. Let's start off with an arc that's going to start at this side of the page and it's going to go over to this side. So nice big arc, just like that. And now we're going to do the same type of arc, except we're going to have it go opposite on the bottom. So right here, start here and come around. And this looks like a nice football shape. Now I'm going to extend this arc up here just a little bit more, to get it closer. And then I'm going to make two small tiny arcs, one here and one here, and it curves in for the points of the football on the edge. Okay, so next we need to place the laces. The laces go right here, and those are the big stitches that go across the ball, and there are eight, eight of them that go across. So in order to do that, we're going to use a line. So let's start right about over here. We'll make one line here, and then another line, and that's one lace. Okay, so we'll do a top and a bottom line. And now we'll do, we'll have a little bit of space here, and then we'll make another one. And then top, bottom, and then you join that over here on the side. And then we'll do again, one side, the other side, top and the bottom and then we'll do it again this is just repetition we're doing the same thing over and over so we get a lot of practice doing that if we do a lot of practice at drawing something we get better at it so that's one two three four five laces and we'll do one Two, three more, and now we have eight. So let's count it all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what do these laces look like? They're rectangles. They're tall, thin rectangles. But we used a line to create those. Okay, so we did one line on one side, another on the other side, and then a top and a bottom. All right, so now that we have those, now we have to do the inside part of the laces. So now we're going to take a line and join these across. So we'll go like this, and then all the way across. And then we're gonna do the bottom after we finish this. So we stop here, and then we're gonna do the bottom part right here. And just like that, we have our laces. We took a, a complex part of the drawing and broke it down into small pieces. And now look what you did. Now we have to create that line that goes across here. And I think it's, it's sort of an arc. It's a very wide arc, so it's not very deep. So we'll start here and we'll go and join it to this part of the laces here. And then we're going to lift our marker. We're not drawing. And then we're going to start here. And then we're going to continue that arc all the way over. Oops. All the way over to that point on the end. Okay. And that looks like a football. Now we'll continue. We'll add the stripes. And the stripes will go here with an arc. And then here with another arc all the way down. And then we'll do one more stripe on this side, and we'll take two arcs. We'll do one here, and then another here. And there we go. There we have a football. Look at that amazing football we drew together. Wow, and that looks really complex. But we only needed two basic lines and shapes to create this football. Now I have a question for all of my friends. Why do you think some footballs have stripes 
but other footballs don't. You should ask maybe your teacher or a friend or an adult. Maybe they'll have the answer for you. It's a very interesting story. And then you'll know why some footballs have stripes and some don't. Thanks so much for drawing with me today. Have a great day. Bye. For this and other episodes, drawing lessons, activities, and books, please visit drawwithmrmike.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the Draw With Mr. Mike channel on YouTube, Vimeo, and Facebook. Draw with Mr. Mike. Let's draw with Mr. Mike. D R A W with M R M I K E.